Book 132. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about what goes around comes around. That's right. What goes around comes around. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in the area of the earth that we call America today, there lived a young man in a village next to a great and mighty canyon. This young man, who was one of my ancestors no less, lay down to sleep one night, and he did not get up in the morning. Instead, when he finally opened his eyes after going to sleep, he found himself in a strange place which smelled like rotting flesh, disease, and torment. In this place, the young man saw that he was standing in a long line of men and women who were walking slowly in the same direction. Fear, anxiety, and horror overtook the young man's mind as he began to process what he was seeing. The men and women in line with him were indeed human, but their bodies looked emaciated and frail. They were more like walking skeletons with bruised flesh hanging from their bones than regular humans. These living corpses were marching towards an enormous pillar which was being slowly spun in a circular motion by an identical living corpse who was nearby turning a giant wheel. The young man could see that the huge pillar was made of stone, flesh, bone, and guts, all smashed together and combined. Panicking but being unable to leave the line, the young man walked forward toward the pillar. One by one, the humans in line walked up to the pillar and were caught up in its rotating motion, and they were soon ground up like meat as it spun and turned. The young man began to cry out as he got closer and closer to his fate, and he tried his hardest to fight his way out of line, but it was as if he was stuck by the sheer number of living corpses surrounding him. Help! The young man screamed. Mother, help me! Help me, please! Then, he began fighting with the living corpses, trying to force them to let him out of the line. But no matter what he did, he could not phase them. His punches only wasted his strength, and before long, he was too tired to even fight. Eventually, with terror on his face, the young man was pushed into the huge pillar, and his body was grabbed up by the spinning mechanism. As his flesh began to tear and rip, he called out for help one last time, and immediately, as if by magic, the young man was transported from that place back to the earth, where he laid inside of a hut, which was filled with burning incense. After a brief moment, he slowly began to remember what was happening. The young man was a wicked young man, and the village wise man had given him powerful plants to eat. These plants were designed to show him his fate if he did not change his ways. The young man, still terrified, realized that the evil he did in life would come back around to him once he died. So, he no longer wanted to be wicked. Instead, he chose to become good. And so, the morning motivation of today is, what goes around, comes around. Today, family, I want you to consider the ramifications of your actions. Do not think that you can live a life of evil and you will never have to answer for your crimes. Indeed, even if you escape judgment in this life, you will not be able to escape judgment in the hereafter. The things that you do unto others will eventually be done unto you. So do your best to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.